Okay, guys, so welcome. It is um, Tuesday, August 31st. So these are going to be your instructions for Tuesday, August 31st, and Wednesday, September 1st, right? So the first thing that we're always going to do, remember, is you're going to log into um, Schoology. Here it is. Physics. All right, so I'm going to open up my green folder. I'm going to go into week two because this is where we are. And today is Tuesday and Wednesday, right? This is where you'll find your current assignment for today. So the first one says, read me first. So we're going to do something very similar, the same thing we've done for position versus time graph. We've also done it for a velocity versus time graph. Our last graph is going to be acceleration versus time graph, right? We're going to explore with that a little. So I'm going to open it just so you can see what it looks like. And I'm trying to make sure that my YouTube videos work. I have put them on YouTube, so that way they now have closed caption, right? If you need to stop them or um, some people need closed caption, right? So you can put it on there. So I'm making sure that they work. For today's lab, acceleration versus time. The first thing I want you to do, right, is to watch Ms. Rice explaining the acceleration versus time graph, okay? So let's open it. And there she is. I'm going to show you a few tricks of the trade here. So first of all, you see up here where it says E, right? This is Ms. Van Netter. You have to be logged into your school Google account in order for it to work. The second thing is you can click on closed caption here if you'd like to see the words, okay? And then the third thing, which I discovered the other day, is you can actually go to quality. Um, this is your auto, but if you want to, like, put it to really nice. Oh, that's a really that's a really, that's a really, that's a really bad. Oh, that's 144. What's the highest? The highest I can go is 720. Yes. So some of them are HD. Some of them aren't. I don't know the difference. But if it's really blurry, you can in, um, increase your quality here. Okay. And then, of course, you can span it out right here. All right. Sometimes it slows it down. But so yeah. we're going to watch this first, right? You're going to, she's going to demonstrate the FET man for you using, doo -doo 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 -doo, using the following handout. Do y'all have this? Yes, I do. Excellent. So just like she did last time, she's going to talk you through in the real world, I mean, not in the real world, in the virtual world, what you will be looking for. Okay, so go ahead and get that out. So that's the first thing you're going to do. And then, just like last time, you have two options. So you already know what the answer should look like, right, in the simulated world. You, well, you're going to know from Miss Wright. She's going to tell you. And then you have two options. If you would like to go over here, and play around with the car and ramp, you can. It's hard to get perfect data on them, right? It, it just is. It is what it is. Everyone, I think, so far has found it better to go to do it on the simulations. I agree. I agree. So this is your that's your first option, right? But if you want to, you're welcome to, right? If you just want to see if you can recreate it, if you want to get some hands-on experience. What you can do the second time, if you would like to watch, here's Mr. Huff, your neighbor next door. Right. So Mr. Huff is doing the same exact worksheet, but he's going to be doing it with the car and ramp. Right. And he's going to get this really imperfect data, but he's going to interpret the data for you because it doesn't always work out perfect. Right. On the car and ramp. This is important um, to check yourself. This is optional. Well, you can see it. If you plan on like majoring in physics or you might want to go on to AP physics, too, or something. It's good to see this type of data in the imperfect world, right? So that way you can, there's a lot of extrapolating going on in physics, right? The perfect world versus the non-perfect or the real world. So again, this video right here could reinforce your understanding. Usually when you see things virtually and then in person, it kind of helps to reinforce that. But that's optional. If you're like, I have a great grasp on this from Miss Rice or the Running Man, that's fine as well, right? You can pick whichever one you want. And then just like last time, um, you're going to um, not turn your paper in, but you're going to complete the lab quiz for an objective grade, right? Meaning that it's a fair, equal grade that everyone's going to get in physics. It's only five questions, guys. You have two chances, right? The first time you're going to hit submit, it's going to show you what you got right and wrong. And then the ones that you got wrong, you're going to raise your hand or we're going to we can go over those and then you're going to submit again. So there's no reason you shouldn't get 100 today for that lab quiz. Everybody understand? Any questions? All right. 
So here you can see, here's the lab quiz, right? So once you're done with the lab, we're gonna explore in the lab, we're gonna take a quiz and get a grade for today. And then um, if you're done with all of your assignments, work on something else, right? However, you should be able to notice that on Wednesday, we have these CK12s due. They should each take you like five minutes. They don't take very long. And I'll be walking around once you're done if, you, if you're having trouble with logging into those, okay? Yes, ma'am. Oh, do you have the right paper? Let's see. It should look like this. It, it should look like this. This one. Do y'all have this one? Okay, so that's um which one do they have? We drew the cars on. We didn't even finish that one. Oh, okay. That's the one they have. So this is my second that one yet. Okay, so this is my second piece of information. So right now that's the lab that I have there. Okay. So that one, this is acceleration time. Now notice here it says finish CK twelves and finish last class assignment right so you might be moving at a different speed everyone might be at a different speed if you didn't finish last week's assignment not a big deal remember here if you go to Friday right that here is your lab velocity versus time information same thing right the watching it and here's your acceleration versus time right they're they're very similar we'll give you the acceleration where we'll walk around and give you the acceleration worksheet as well okay this one on Monday the one the second one that you've shown I have it given them yet okay no that was from Friday this assignment was from Friday but some of them didn't finish it's not a big deal right because you guys start late too so either way yeah not a big deal so what you're working on you guys choose you can either start with the velocity time right or you can start I'm not gonna play it live right you guys are gonna play it when you need it um, and then if you need headphones we have a few headphones um, and then we'll be walking around um, giving you instruction, or not giving instructions, helping you if you need it, okay? I know, right? I know, I know, I know. Remember, also two things. So just to reiterate, you might be finishing Friday's lab versus velocity, which is fine, right? Read me, quiz. If you're finished, you might be moving on to the acceleration time graph. Either one, right? They're two different assignments, so kind of make yourself a to-do list. What's important about both of these is you see here this lab quiz. It's important that you take these so I can get a grade for you. Everybody understand? Yep. Okay. Ms. Vinetter's handing out the acceleration time graph. So we have two objectives today. Finish velocity versus time. Finish acceleration versus time. If you don't finish all of your CK12s, I'm not overly concerned about it right now. I'd rather you focus on the labs and the lab quizzes first. Okay? <laughs> Yeah, you can use whatever you want. So, and you'll see. So let me show you, for example, what a lab quiz looks like. My phone's blowing up. Right, so on the lab quizzes, it's going to ask you these questions like, which object is moving faster? You're going to be able to go back to your lab that you just did, right, and use that information to help answer this answer. Now, remember also, Sydney, I want you to use your lab information to answer these questions, right, to the best of your ability. If you get one wrong, that's okay. We're going to look which ones you got wrong, and then we can talk about specific ones that you got wrong, okay? But try your best. And if, if you're working in a lab group with a partner, I don't mind if you work with a partner either, right, to discuss what you think the answers are. Everybody got it? So remember, you're going to get a stamp for completing. Stamps are going to be counted up at the end of the nine weeks. And then your actual grade in teams are going to be these little online lab quizzes. I don't know. I'm not sure. He hmm, He might have been. He might have been in the wrong class. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, guys. So go ahead and make your list of things that you need to do today. Right? Velocity versus time. Acceleration versus time. And then if you're absolutely finished with all that, you can work on your CK12s. Got it? If you don't have earbuds, we have a few um, headphones. I ordered some more from Amazon. But if worse comes to worse, if you need silence, you can go sit in the hallway or you're welcome to go sit at one of the alternative learning areas over there to listen for your earbuds as well. Okay? All right. So I'm going to hit stop. This week you'll notice a grade in Teams. It'll be this lab quiz, velocity versus time graph. So make sure you complete that. All right? All right, so let me hit stop here. La, 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 la,